and welcome to another episode of Bucket List Coach Web Show Live. Well, hello, hello. This is your host, Cindy Lee, over at Bucket List Coach Web Show Live. Make sure that you follow me on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. And definitely go to YouTube at wherecindynow.com at Bucket List Coach Web Show. You're going to hit the subscribe button. You're going to hit the bell icon to get notified of other awesome videos. And if you subscribe and comment, I actually will gift you a three-night giveaway. So make sure that you check out threenightgiveaway.com. So really quickly, if you are a small to medium-sized business and you would like a video podcast just like this one, simply go to StreamYard.com. And if you'd like to comment on Facebook today, please go to StreamYard.com slash Facebook. So both platforms marry and we could post your comments. So a little bit about me. I am a full-time travel agent. I'm located here in Orange County. And I also am a travel agent with Viatar. So today I have the pleasure, I've been wanting this for so long, to get Donna on our show. She is with the Dana Wharf Fishing Excursion. She does uh, wine cruises, fishing, whale watching, dolphin watching. Welcome to the show, Donna. Thank you, Cindy. Thanks so much for having me. So and I want to do a big plug for, for Jim. He's with Fish for Life Foundation. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have met. And I'm very grateful Hi. for him to let me know all about your excursion company. I'm very grateful for that. Yeah, big shout out to Jim Fish for Life. Great charity, fishing for with kids, special needs. It's great. 12 years running. So Wow. So tell us a little bit um, about you, about your story, and um, how you got started in your excursion company. All right, so my company is called Dana Wharf Sport Fishing and Whale Watching. It was actually started in 1971 when the Dana Point Harbor opened. It, the business was started by my father, Don Hansen, who previously had a business off the San Clemente Pier. So maybe some of your viewers will know San Clemente Sport Fishing back in the 50s and 60s, San Clemente Pier. So when the harbor opened in 1971, my father had a wonderful opportunity to be the first business to operate out of the harbor. And so that's when Dana Wharf Sport Fishing was born and we are celebrating our 50th anniversary. So we've been in Dana Wharf oh. for 50 years. So we're very proud and it's been an amazing time. Let's talk uh, about the wine cruise, first of all, because I'm um, I'm a chef by trade. I actually was a chef for 25 years uh, before I got into the travel space. And right. wine is a big passion of mine. So let's tell uh, my audience what you got going on for the wine cruise. Sure. So the wine cruise, people are like, oh, they're always so intrigued about the wine cruise. So the wine cruise is something we've been doing for about eight years. It's a 90 minute harbor cruise, and it includes four tastes of wine from either the organic cellar which is in laguna beach or we have a new winery in our harbor here called frisbee cellars and you come on the boat you get a 90 minute harbor cruise we give you um we have a wine expert on the boat so they tell you about all the wine that they're serving that evening um, and the regions that they're from we also have cheese and crackers a little snack um, and people love it because for people that maybe are scared to be on the water or don't want to be out of the harbor we get that a lot this is the perfect cruise because it's like a lake we're just going around the harbor we're not going out of the harbor and it's perfect lots of people do it for date night girls night out um, we have anniversaries we have people that propose on the boat it's just a great our harbor is so beautiful and it's small and quaint and i really suggest it it's a great way to spend your sunday afternoon so let's, so let's talk, talk about, about the dolphin. The dolphin. Okay, so well watching, well watching, and dolphin watching from Dana Point. So in 2019, dolphin and well watching, we were actually trademarked as the dolphin and well watching capital of the world, and you can see that we both sell um, on Viator. So. Um, my comp my competitor in Dana Point Harbor is called Dolphin Safari. So shout out to them because we did trademark Dana Point as the dolphin and whale watching uh, capital of the world together. We own six trademarks. 
So we're very excited. Um, and then this year for 2021, we just got the um, name of the first whale heritage site in the USA. So wow. Point is recognized as a whale heritage site. And so that is extremely, what people don't realize is that to be a whale heritage site, you have to be recognized as an outstanding location where cetaceans, whales and dolphins, are embraced through the culture, the economic, social, and political lives of the community, and where people and cetaceans coexist in an authentic and a respectful way. That totally explains Dana Point. So we are so excited that we got that designation. Um, places around the world, the Azars, um, uh, Australia, there's only four in the world. So it's pretty amazing that Dana Point gets to be one of these outstanding whale heritage sites. And really quickly, I want to do a shout out um, to Shayla over at John's Fish Market. Woo! If you guys have never been there, I mean, we want to talk about a culinary bucket list, a SoCal bucket list. Definitely uh, check out this business. amazing establishment. Yeah. So Shayla, John's Fish Market right next to us. Um, we kind of both run family owned businesses. And so come down, go fishing and then go see John's fish market, get some fish and chips. They're world famous. Definitely. Let's uh, talk about sport fishing. So what kind of species are out there right now? All right. So the sport fishing we do daily right now, we are catching calico bass, uh, rockfish, sand bass, we are catching halibut. We just started twilight fishing. So for those of you that love to go twilight fishing, that is a really fun uh, fishing trip. People can't wait for the spring to come so we can go twilight fishing. It's an evening fish fishing trip from 5.30 to 9.30. And so that's just started up again. People are really excited. And then for all you people that love um, exotic fish, we're catching yellowtail. We just started oh, catching Oh, yellowtail, yellowtail, yes. Yeah, San Clemente Island. We have an overnight boat called the Fury. And mm -hmm. they uh, just had 17 yellowtail caught last week. So they're out there again today doing that same thing. Very exciting. People want to go catch yellowtail. So... Uh, it's starting to really warm up and fishing is looking great. So for those of my audience who aren't very familiar with yellowtail, <laughs> can you tell them a little bit more about that type of species? So yellowtail is something that we catch in the spring and the summer. Uh, they're mm -hmm. not tuna. So a lot of people will call us and say, yellowtail tuna. They're not in the tuna family. They're in the jack family. They're very, very tasty. And they're very um, normally like the species right now of yellowtail that we're catching, they're around 15 to 20 pounds. So they're really large and they're really good. Wow. So um, the tuna will come to us in July, August, and September. So hopefully get bluefin tuna, yellowfin tuna. Um, but locally, we'll be catching, like I say, bass. And we will catch some local yellowtail. It's just a little early right now. So be looking for those to come in in June. So that's a really big bucket list for me. So for those who feel the same as I do, uh, tell us some of the fishing excursions that you offer. So we have kind of everything for everyone. We have a five hour trip, which is really popular for people that don't have a lot of time or people that want to bring their kids out. We have a huge kids following down here. We have a kids club. So that, that five hour is perfect for families or anybody that doesn't have a lot of time. Um, and we do catch a lot of fish on those, but the most popular is our nine hour trip. It's called the three quarter day fishing trip. Nice. We go a little bit farther down the coast, typically down, um, Really south San Clemente to where Trestles is. That's where we fish. So you need a nine hour excursion. And that really gets you the morning and the afternoon fishing. And it's your best bet. Um, and then again, we have overnights and then we have the twilights. We have a full so list. Uh, what was that? We have a full list of trips. That's awesome. So for somebody who um, is new to fishing and they want to mark it off their bucket list, uh, what is your biggest tip? So you you supply everything. They pretty much just pay for the excursion and show up. Yeah. So they book online and they come down and we'll outfit them. We'll get them their, um, their rental rods that they need and they'll be outfitted with tackle. And then everyone needs in the state of California, they have to have 
a one day fishing license. You can buy mm -hmm. a year if you're an avid fisherman. A lot of those fishermen out there will have a year license. But if you're just going for the day, you can get one from us and it's $17. Awesome. Well, let's go into dolphin watching. Yay. So whale Ooh. and dolphin watching. It's been an amazing couple weeks around here in Dana Point. So we just finished our gray whale season. So oh, yeah. uh, gray whales are kind of what made us famous in Dana Point. Um, gray whales visit us from November through May. Um, and we have two migrations. We have the south migration that is from November to February. And then from February to May, we have the north migration. So right now, we're in the north migration for the gray whales. And what that means is that the moms um, are returning from Baja with their babies, their baby gray whales. So it's almost Mother's Day. And here we go. We have uh, mom and baby gray whales off our coast. And they actually love Laguna Beach. So if people are going to the beach this weekend and they're going to go to Laguna, be looking for whales because they come in close and they love to play in the surf. Um, and oh, the, nice. Yeah, the babies are learning from mom and they, they do a lot of behaviors. So keep looking out and let us know. Tag us and tell us that you see a whale. Um, we've also been seeing fin whales. Fin whales are the second largest whale of the world. They're around 70 feet long. And we've had mm. tremendous days with fin whales. We had six fin whales the other night surrounding our boat. That's been very exciting. And then to top it off, we have humpbacks. So we have humpbacks here too. We saw a humpback last night. We saw a mom and baby humpback over the weekend. So whale watching is tremendous. And we are entering our um, blue whale season right now. So that's really exciting too. But you want to talk about the dolphins. So um, in Dana Point, we have the largest population of common dolphins in the world. We have 450,000 wow. common dolphins that live off our coast. So they are the most common dolphin in the world, but we see huge pods. So we are also famous for the dolphin stampede. You might have seen yeah. it on the news. You might see it on our website. You could see it on our YouTube channel. Um, we are famous for the dolphin stampede. And so people often ask me to explain a dolphin stampede. So it could be anywhere from two to 5,000 dolphins in an area, maybe a mile wow. wide. And um, it's a huge rushing of water. The dolphins make a sound just by rushing through the ocean. And they, they're very compacted and they're usually chasing food or going somewhere. And um, it's very, it's a wonderful thing to see. So if you've never seen it, hit, hit us up on our website and you can see. Can you do that number again? Did you say 450,000 common dolphins yeah, on our 450, coast? 450,000 common dolphins live off the coast of California. And, but wow. where we are at Dana Point, we will go out and see dolphin um, stampedes, dolphin pods, 5,000 strong. So it is pretty amazing. Our, our customers love to come here for the dolphin shows. I mean, really, they're coming here to see a whale, but they really want to see that dolphin stampede. Um, we also we also see bottlenose dolphin a lot. We have a famous um, dolphin called Patches, who is mm -hmm. a linguistic bottlenose dolphin, which means he has a little skin disease. So he's kind of splotched and he's very famous. Patches, the bottlenose dolphin. So if you come out... Tell everyone you want to see patches and maybe you'll see them. That's, That's amazing. amazing. Wow. wow. And so, we're also home to rare dolphins and whales. So yes. sometimes we see this guy. Do you know what this is? Whoa. This is an orca. And so usually once or twice a year, we, we get an orca pod that comes through the Dana Point area. Wow. Mm -hmm. And so where are they at right now? Oh, the orcas? Mm -hmm. The best place to see orcas right now would be Monterey. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Monterey, California, only for a couple months a year, really. But you um, you could get a glimpse of them. So it's do you Monterey. have um, anything, uh, any kind of specials coming up? We could just go to the Viatar website or um, what all do yeah. you have coming up for go the summer? 
Yeah, go to Viator. We have uh, wonderful deals during the day. We also have a Tuesday special. So if you come well watching at Dana Wharf on Tuesdays, um, all of our tickets are half price and you can get them through Viator. And also we have a sunset cruise. Um, so sunset whale watching is very popular here. And so we go out from 515 to 715 and those are reduced prices as well. So go, to the, go back to the wine cruise really quick. Yeah, and there's the wine cruise. Yep. Very popular event and it's beautiful. So I recommend those those um, items. And you can come all the time. You can come, you know, we have people that come on the wine cruise every month. It's pretty nice. Wow, it's great, that's amazing. It's a great take. It's a great way to take um, out of towners or guests in the area, the well watching too. So we have a lot to offer, and our harbor is beautiful. Lots of mm -hmm. restaurants and shops. So you know, shop local. It's shop local week. Exactly, um, and that's one of the things I always like to support, especially uh, restaurants. Can you plug a couple restaurants there in the Dana Port Harbor? Oh, sure. So we already had Shayla. Um, at John's Fish Market. So that's a wonderful restaurant. Um, down from Dana Wharf um, on the water's edge is the Wind and Sea. So the Wind oh. and Sea restaurant, they have the best Mai Tai in Orange County. That's their claim to fame. Um, you can only have two of those. <laughs> and then um, we have Harbor Grill, which is amazing seafood restaurant in our harbor. It's called the Harbor Grill. So I recommend that. And then again, Frisbee Cellars, which is our um, wine. They have um, wine tasting and they also have cheese and crackers and a little side dishes. So we have a lot of restaurants in the harbor, but those are my main picks. Oh, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes when it's right next to you, you forget. But we have beautiful Waterman's Harbor right next to us. Yeah, yeah. The most beautiful views. They have a deck that is amazing and they have wonderful uh, seafood and um, um, oysters. They have a wonderful oyster bar. So also hit them up, Waterman's Harbor. And what's that restaurant that's right there by the boats? Where where are they at? We oh, do Proud our Mary's. Tourism. Yeah, Steve at Proud Mary's is probably listening to me going, really? So Steve at Proud Mary's, great place to have breakfast and lunch. So shout out mm -hmm. to Steve. And then... I know you're probably wanting to know about Turks Bar. So that's what I'm talking about. Turks. Yeah. So yeah. Turks Bar. So Turks also has been here since 1976, I believe. Turks Bar. Turk was a famous Hollywood actor, and he was in a lot of the Hercules movies. Anyways, if you oh. come into Turks the walls are plastered with all of the movies that Turk was in. Turk has uh, passed away, but his daughter Candy runs the restaurant. So people come from far and wide to talk to Candy and to, you know, relive the past. So it's a wonderful, everyone needs to stop at Turk's and have a Bloody Mary. Definitely. So I have about one minute left. Is there something that you want to announce uh, to my audience on the, why they need to be in Dana Point to mark off that SoCal bucket list. You need to come. Dana Point, again, is this little gem in Orange County that you can't miss. And if you're in the area, we are having our 50th anniversary celebration on May 15th and 16th. And all of our gift certificates are 50% off on those two days. So come down and do some shopping in our store and visit our harbor. And please let me know that you came. I would love to hear about your experience. Thank you. And so do a shout out to um, to all your websites, please. And then we'll close oh, out. Yeah. So you can find us on DanaWharf.com, on Instagram at Dana Wharf, and also at Fish Dana Wharf, and on YouTube at Dana Wharf Well Watching. Thank you. And I think that you put them in the show notes too, right? I did. Yes. Okay, great. Well, thank you. I, I really appreciate your time thank today. You, it's super awesome to be on your show. And thank you for all you do to highlight Orange County. Thank you. I'm going to pop you in the green room and just hang tight for about 30 seconds and we'll chat for a few minutes. All right. Thank you. Pop me in. Awesome, guys. Oh, my God. I've been hearing about Donna for a few years, and I'm so glad that I had her on. 
definitely check here on the chat here on Facebook or YouTube. Uh, make sure that you go to my Viatar link. It's actually bucketlistcoachtravelTours.com. And I would love to connect you also to Jim Holden. We actually are planning later on this year to do an amazing excursion for special needs kids. And next week, stay tuned. So make sure that you follow Bucket List Coach Web Show on YouTube. Go to wherecindynow.com. You want to hit the subscribe button. You want to comment. And I'll gift you a three-night giveaway. So make sure that you go to wherecindynow.com for YouTube and then get your gift at 39giveaway.com. That's 39giveaway.com. We'll see you soon. Shaka, baby. <laughs>